initiating moisture. Welcome to the Moist Meter. Today we're taking a look at the new Halloween movie, Halloween Kills. I wasn't even going to Moist Meter this movie initially, because by the time I finished it, I had already began forgetting some of it. It was just a really underwhelming movie. But I decided that it was probably worth talking about because I find it so underwhelming. Let me just start with the good things here. Best things about this movie are just when they're doing mindless killing. Like, they very much seem self-aware of how goofy and over-the-top their shit is that it becomes enjoyable. I, I can really appreciate a bad good movie, and I really think a lot of times this leans hard into bad good. For example, there's a character that comes at Michael Myers with a, a pistol, and they do that same cliche movie, uh, same cliche shit they do in every action movie where someone with a gun for some reason tries to shove it up their fucking butthole and shoot them instead of just like stand back a little bit and start shooting. So they go up in like fucking slapping range there with their pistol, and Michael Myers just kicks a car door at them, it hits the gun, and they shoot themselves in the fucking face and blow out their brains. Like, it's really goofy. And there's a part where someone's trying to strangle Michael Myers with a Halloween plastic stethoscope. Like a like an Easy Bake Oven stethoscope thing, you know, like that, that kind of children's toy. And then he gets stabbed in the eye. Like, it's, it, it's very goofy, and that's when it's at its best. But it also tries to deliver a message and utterly fails. So it tries to bring home this idea like mom mentality is bad, but it's shit at doing that. So really, to me, the only like redeeming thing about Halloween Kills is when Michael Myers is just mindlessly killing people for no reason all the time. The majority of the movie is spent with those kills. So if that's what you care about, like just a bunch of fucking gore and, and violence and shit, you will be very happy with this movie, I imagine. And I found it to be enjoyable, but I also think the movie as a whole is kind of stinky. So first off, I just want to say, Laurie Strode, who's probably the most important person in Halloween, and extremely important in the last Halloween movie that this one directly follows, does fucking nothing in this movie. Quite literally, she does nothing. She just lays in a hospital bed, talking about how much pain she's in. I mean, yeah, she got stabbed and everything, so obviously she's going to be in pain, but she does fucking nothing. At all. The closest thing she comes to contributing anything to this movie is she knees a random extra in the stomach. Like, there's a doctor running by and Lori just grabs him and knees him. And then she's like, ow, my stab, wound, my stab wound opened, this was a bad idea, and starts rolling around on the floor screaming. That's like it. And then she gives a monologue about fear. And that's, that's all she does. So, I think it's really stupid that they would sideline, like, the most important character here, and instead follow the dumbest characters so far. So, like I said, the message is mob mentality's bad. And you could basically sum up the majority of this movie outside of the killing as just the, a town of actual imbeciles, just actual fucking idiots. So, there's one guy in particular who starts the fucking catchphrase, Evil dies tonight. And you will hear that a million times in the second half of this movie. Evil dies tonight. It's basically the town is tired of Michael Myers killing people, so they're going to do something about it. They're going to kill Michael Myers. Evil dies tonight. And they just keep shouting that. Eventually, innocent people start getting hurt, and, and chaos erupts. And I want to say right away, like, yeah, it's a great idea. You know, get the townspeople, get the vigilantes out there to take them down. Why not? You know, at least, at least try and fight them. But no one really arms themselves with anything that makes sense. Like, the main guy has a baseball bat. Like, okay, that's kind of logical. And then someone else gets, like, a pillowcase of bricks. Someone else just uses, like, brass knuckles. Like, okay, yeah, you're gonna fight it with brass knuckles? Someone else, I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they brought a hula hoop to the mob justice scene. Like, they just start bringing goofy items to fight Michael Myers with. Even though they were, like, planning to kill him for a long time, they could have, like, prepared, like... Find like maybe just maybe just a brick that you could start throwing at him like that'd be better than just bringing like brass knuckles and shit And it's just it's really dumb and the main guy that you follow here is Tommy and the way he recruits people into this is Really silly like there's a scene where he just drives up to a gas station and just starts talking to strangers He's like hey guys you want to murder someone tonight? 
And they're, they're super down. They're like, yeah, who the fuck are we killing? You know, let's, let's fucking ride. Oh, yeah, we're killing Michael Myers. Like, oh, god damn, yeah, let's go kill Michael Myers. I've had enough. You know, that tomfoolery, I'm tired of it. Let's get rid of Michael Myers. It's like everyone in this town is super ready to just kill somebody. They just needed an excuse and a target. It's, it's so weird to me. Like, they don't do a good job of building their message that mob mentality is bad. And maybe Michael Myers isn't just a really scary guy. He represents a very scary thing, which is fear itself. They do a horrible fucking job with it. So I really think everything aside from just Michael Myers killing people is really poorly done. And I really don't think it's great. Like, it's not like he's doing anything creative. He's just randomly stabbing people all the time. Like, there's no real tension that builds in this movie. It's just, oh my god, Michael Myers is hanging out at the dumpster. And now he's stabbing that woman. You know, it's not like there's any kind of like, oh my god, I'm on the edge of my seat, where the fuck is Michael, what's about to happen? Like, you basically see him the whole time as he slowly walks and stabs somebody. It doesn't really get very creative, and it doesn't even really try. It's just he just starts stabbing someone. Like, even when he kills someone, he'll just keep stabbing them. So he'll take a couple, like, you know, he's in someone's house and he's just killed this old man. And then he just grabs a couple more knives and starts just putting them in his body. And then that's it. Like, like it's goofy... And that's enjoyable to me, but I really think it's just poorly done. And they really try and go hard on gore, but they don't do that well either. It's like everyone here is just a balloon of meat waiting to pop. Like, there's a guy who jumps from a building, and when he hits the ground, it looks like he fell into a jet turbine. He's just like fucking minced meat all over the place. And that's basically all of the kills here. They just explode into guts. Like, off of anything. If he's strangling someone, they just fucking explode. So it's not exactly like the most riveting action and gore. It's just kind of like, hey, here's a lot of gore. And like I said, I enjoyed it, but I don't. I also don't think like it's super well done either. And I feel like this movie has no payoff at all. Like, there, it is so desperate to be unpredictable that it becomes... I guess unpredictable is the wrong word. I'm not trying to spoil anything, but this movie has no payoff. You go on this adventure and you get nothing out of it except for like some goofy kills and some silly moments. But I don't really think you walk away like overly impressed with the movie either. I liked 2018's Halloween movie. I had a good time with that one. I thought that did some like fun stuff. And I don't think it's a perfect movie or anything like that. And I still think the original Halloweens are better. But this one, I just feel is not great. Like, it's, it's really not. It's a pretty underwhelming movie with really stupid characters. And so let's just plug this into the moist meter. I'm giving Halloween Kills a 40%. I've been pretty harsh on the movie, but like I said, overall, I did enjoy it. Because most of it is spent with Michael Myers just going on a killing spree. And I think Michael Myers is a cool character. I don't think he's as cool in this movie as he has been in other ones, and they, I think they actually do a disservice to the Michael Myers character by the end of it, but I still did enjoy watching Michael Myers be menacing, and like the, the things that he does along the way were entertaining, so overall, I, I wasn't like completely like this was a waste of my time, but I also wasn't super happy that I spent an hour 45 watching it either, so yeah, that's about it, see ya.